All right, time being 6.02, we'll call the uh, <clears throat> January 23rd, 2020 meeting to order for the Fire District Budget Committee. Everybody's here except our uh, commissioner, delegate, Eric. He's in transit. <clears throat> well, I'll get into the minutes. Okay, we got minutes. Um, has everybody got them, read yep. them? Yep. Any ads, deletes, changes, edits? Make a motion to accept them. Making, making a motion to accept the minutes of January 2nd. I'll second. See what I'm looking at? Okay. Motion by Jane, seconded by Dennis. Discussion? Charlie, what do you think? A little weird. <laughs> 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 all right, there being no discussion, all those in favor accepting the minutes, January 2nd, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Being none, motion carries. Chief? Um, just want to make everybody aware that uh, uh, Kathy would ask me to tell you that we're having the budget and warrant hearing on Monday, February 10th at 5.30 here in the Tolton Town Hall. I believe it's upstairs, but it'll be posted. And we'll also ha be having an additional hearing on Feb Monday, February 24th at 5.30 here at the Town Hall. And the purpose of that hearing is to, uh, for the change of the purpose of the Apparatus and Equipment Fund. So that's one specific board article? Yes. So that won't be discussed in the February 10th meeting? Uh, I think this time things uh, in the RSA of when you have to have hearings for different things, and, and this one falls into a category we kind of have to have a its own public hearing. Its own public yeah. hearing. And those are both here upstairs. Yeah, I believe so. Yes. And that's that's it for the post-it. That's it for the post-it. All right. Do we want to go into re we do finish up and finish the budget, budget, budget and then, and then we'll do the warrant? warrant. Right. If we could turn to page six on the budget, you'll see a highlighted line in there. And this was just a, um, an oversight on myself and Kathy when we were putting the budget together. Uh, because we're changing everything to online now, and we forgot to put this line item in for the QuickBooks hosting, which is $2,200 a year. And so, uh, How's that different than the user licenses? So you have to have user license to use QuickBooks, but this is a, the server off-site that hosts QuickBooks. So the licenses are, are attached to our computers. Our access. The hosting yeah. is a remote yes. server mm -hmm. storing our data. Yes. And there's no way we can do it without the remote? We can, we can host QuickBooks locally, but we'd have to buy a new server, which is about $15,000. Why do you need a $15,000 server for QuickBooks? Because the server that we have, well, that's just what the, I don't know the, why it's $15,000. But the server that we have is uh, all done, and um, our the folks at Mainstay talked to QuickBooks and found out what the requirements were for certain things, and, and they said to get a brand new server to host everything we're having would be about twelve to fifteen thousand dollars. Be curious what this hosting server does that makes it so valuable. Well, it, uh, other than just be a storage drive, it, it has game. our QuickBooks on it, and it stores all the information, and uh, and it relieves us the liability of if our server crashes, they have redundancy built into this so that we can't lose our data theoretically. Whereas when we have everything on the one server, even though we do back up our data, if it's still, uh, it's much more vulnerable. And there are the lines in this budget relative to off-site 
computer services. So the offsite data storage that zeroed out, that was when we had our server here. Um, that was the backup to it. So that zeroed out this year, but it's, we're using this line for the QuickBooks just to make it uh, crystal clear what this line is for. We, so we're not bunching things together. So we're using the server on site or we know? We're in the process of moving to the off site server now. So we yeah. still have it, but at what cost? It's it's all in here. It's That's in this department's budget. Is it? I think it's it right there. So um, is it the same or less than a server? It's less than a server, and over time, like this is the first year. There's a a, a, um, a migration fee of five thousand dollars that will go away, and. Um, but there's still a maintenance fee every year and uh, IT services so every year that we have to maintain. The $5,000 migration fee, the 2200 this is going to be yearly? The migration fee is going to go away. Yeah, it's a one shot. 2200 is annual. And there's other lines in this budget that expend money for off-site so we don't have to have our own server. Well, the off-site data storage is going away. In the last year, it was 1985. So the, the things that we use currently, we have a, micro, a firehouse, which is in the cloud now, and that's an annual fee of $5,600, and that's off the firehouse servers wherever they are. If we went to them. So that, that line is specifically for the server. That's not for the twenty eight license or the twenty eight people or something that we that use it. The, the firehouse? Yeah. So that includes our license as well. That's so licensing hosting for, so for that for that line for that yes. brand. Okay. Then um, the IT services line. The IT services line is our mainstay for folks who make sure everything's up and running and comes in on a monthly basis and takes care of all the problems. And if we have a problem in the middle of the day or middle of the night, they're the ones that get the phone call and fix it. Uh, the antivirus software is self-explanatory. Uh, the VPN certificate, it's a virtual private network. so. That will go away next year because we're still using that right now because uh, when we use computers remotely, depending upon what we're using, we're either using our server currently or the new server that's in the cloud. But to use our server over in the fire station, we need the VPN uh, certificate. <coughs> but that will go away after this year. Um, Two laptops, we talked about that. Uh, Microsoft Office 365, so that's <coughs> a, um, that includes our email and uh, Word and Excel and all that kind of stuff. And Microsoft has migrated from, when you buy a computer, you used to be able to buy uh, Microsoft Office on a disk and load it or download it. Yeah. Well now, it's a subscription service. So that's what that cost is. Um, then we have the the, uh, the website maintenance fee of seventy five dollars a year. And everything else, I think, we've explained. If, if you if you bought a server, it, it did cost twelve thousand dollars. Yeah, what's 15, the What's the lifespan? Seven or eight years. Seven years max. So are we spending that much money over seven years in this budget? They, according to the consultants, we're saving money by going up uh, in the cloud. Um, the consultants that are selling us the service. Well, our consultants, we pay for them. They're not selling us the stuff. They, they, um, we go out to bid for these things, and uh, we just have our consultants in, um, install it and maintain it for us. Who are our consultants? Mainstay technology. 
in Belmont. Yeah. Well, they're all over the place, but we deal with the guys from Belmont. Seems as if it's, good. it's even money, whether we have the equipment or cloud it out, and a lot less risk. Mm -hmm. They're guaranteeing the protection. My servers go about five years. Yeah, I was going to say twenty-five thousand dollars. I see the state stuff come in and get scrapped, and yeah, three to five. And then if you get a virus on it, hmm? and then if you get a virus on it, uh, and then electrical surges, well, well, yeah, they're they're one pretty tight. Lightning storm. We don't get those around here. We got a windstorm a few years ago, <laughs> raining tax season. Right. Well, Charlie, and having experience with servers at your company, does this seem reasonable? Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would rather, if I had the opportunity, I probably would, would do the same thing. We don't just have QuickBooks, we have tons of stuff on the server, which we all access with VPNs from home and all that. But this looks fine. Not, you're not going to lose money. You should make money. Kind of a choice. You go one way or the other. I think there's a motion buried in there somewhere. I'll make a motion to accept line item 342.11 for some of the $2,200. Is there a second? I'll second. Further discussion? Further discussion. All those in favor of funding line 342.11, the amount of $2,200, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Yeah. <coughs> Motion carries. So the, the next page, if we could look at page 8. I know we discussed this at the last meeting, but Kevin wasn't here. Um, can I interrupt for a second? Yes. Does anybody feel we need to validate or fund the entire 342 with a revised number, or are you okay with just adding that line and letting the math fall away? Yeah, I think the final number has to be adjusted. Yeah. Okay. Because it, it is at 32. Oh, ours isn't, so we have to go back and yeah. do the 34883. Well, there'll be a vote at the end on the final number anyway, won't you? I'm just, I, I'm fine either way. I just said everybody had a preference historically because we, we blew these out by category. Two or three budgets. 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 Two Sorry, Chief. Okay. Um, if you look at page eight again, um, if you can, you can see what we spent actually last year in maintenance fees and repairs was almost seventy thousand um, dollars, and it was funded at sixty thousand dollars. So this year. I actually requested to uh, uh, actually a little bit less at 59, but approximately 60 thousand dollars yeah. level funded, yeah. and uh, the commissioners went along with that. And but the um, the, the budget committee was you know looking to save some money, and I understand that. But our vehicles and apparatus are getting older and older, and though we are going to try and hopefully order a new engine this year. Uh, it'll be at least a year probably before it shows up and, yeah. and uh, even though we fix things on these things all the time on a weekly basis something's broken on mm -hmm. engine one or engine two uh, in a2 too as well and um, I just think we're going to need the money in that line item to cover that so, so Kevin, in all fairness to you, this, this conversation came up at our last meeting that you weren't here for, and we didn't feel comfortable opening it up until you were back. Because you we had all, so much input. Yeah, we had a lot of input. We voted it as a team, and we didn't want to even have it, you know, get into a motion or any of that until we all got back together on it. So that's why we're... So we had discussed previously about knocking down that first line, <coughs> the other 220000 
And I think that I think that was the, the, the discussion. We hit it line by line, and the, and the only thing that we really decided to change was that the twenty change the, the wild card number that yeah. could go anywhere to twenty. Oh. So it looks like. Chief and the commissioner agreed at 59468. Right, and we, we trimmed 5K off of it. So is, is there any reason to think that, I mean, you overspent in 19, right? Mm -hmm. By 9,000. Okay, where did that money come from? Well, this is the, the point. Where do you, I found some money, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> so. And then Paul said, well, geez, if you had to do it again, where would you, you know, kind of put Chief on the spot? Well, if you had to find money, where would you look? Well, the point <laughs> is that we had the expense. We underfunded the line. We overspent. <clears throat> so I'd have to look in here and see and, where we did. But it, it still got done. Yeah. It, my it got done, yes. But so at the end of the year, I have to start looking and say, okay, this is what I budgeted for this, and this is what I plan to do with this money. Well, I can't do it now because I had to allocate allocate funds towards the uh, rolling stock. I mean, those, so, are, those were our tools. If we can't get them on the road, we can't do our job. 2019 money is all spent. We're in 2020 now. That's correct. So, did we make it? Last year's <laughs> budget was obviously 10 grand fat. Well, well you, no, you can see a lot of it right in that very section where maintenance on the other vehicles was less than what was appropriated. On, so, on some of them. It's not like the nine all came from somewhere else. A lot of it came right from there. But if, if you look at what was appropriated throughout the whole budget for last year and what was expended per line item, if for the whole entire um, fire portion of the budget, we, we, we spent 99.2 or 4 percent of the fire part portion of the budget. I mean, on just on so we're 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 budgeting very tightly. We don't, there's not a whole lot left over. Save 1,500 bucks on gasoline. Save about 18 on diesel. Save about four grand on testing. I mean, just on this page, it's... The 54468 came from a reduction of vehicle repair of the, Correct. Yes. Of the 25. From 25 to 20. So these other line items in the vehicle repairs where they're assigned to specific vehicles, mm -hmm. those are maintenance and repairs that are going to happen because I know that they're scheduled out over the course of the year. So the 20, 20 or $25,000 that's there... That's for everything else that happens to a truck. You break a, a, a spring or the, the front end goes on the ambulance, things like that. It just, that's where I get that money from. It's not yeah. like I'm not going to change the oil on something. You know, exactly. You're going to maintain your vehicles. So, but there are. You can see a ton of, I mean, if you just go down the main yeah. like, look at Park Street Station. It's like four grand there that didn't get done on Park Street Station and stuff. Yes, it did not get done because it didn't need to be done. Is it because of money? Was no, I uh, when I um, estimated the Park Street work and stuff like that, <coughs> I um, I made a deal with Sire Lumber to get the paint at a much reduced cost, and we ended up using uh, correct Department of Corrections labor for the job. So I did the job for half of what I thought it was going to cost originally. You're going to maintain your new car for the entire year for four hundred and fifty-two dollars. Uh, it'll probably only be uh, oil changes. Oil changes. Yeah. Have you had it oiled yet? Yes. That happens every year. We uh, fluid film all the vehicles every year. Well, since I've been here now, and uh, well, I have a very extensive maintenance program. If anybody wants to. It's a good thing. So you guys, the last meeting, 
said it at 54, 468. No, we, all of us, did together, but we didn't. The chief has to get the five grand put back in, but we didn't open the discussion because you weren't here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I think when we looked at this originally back in November or December, all our bills hadn't been in. We were like five grand below, and so you thought maybe that we were going to be okay. But mm. once all the bills came in, it was like way over. And if, 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 what is that other fund that we typically go run it? On um, warrant article and contingency funds. Contingency funds, a warrant article. It's based on the RSA. It's one percent of the previous uh, operating years operating budget, and that's that'll be in there again next year. But um, it's not something that we can just freely spend. There has to be um, the, the spirit of the law is for something drastic that's un unexpected. Um, okay. Although. I think you, the commissioners could probably spend it on whatever they wanted, but I don't think that's, that's not my intent, and I don't think that's the spirit of the... But it could be... Safe a catastrophic... A semi-catastrophic semi catastrophic vehicle. With an engine trainee or a rear end, I think it'd be... But then when, the, only, the only thing with that is, I, I never had a clear understanding of it either, as far as how, how they approve that stuff. Because it's DRA that approves that, right? So the, the contingency fund is through the commissioners only at this point because it's, it's well, voted right. as a warrant article as a contingency through the RSA. If we want to overexpend the budget, that has to go to DRA. Well, and that's what I was saying. So, but the point is, so when you're talking about at the end of the year, you know, it's, it's like where do we sit? You know, we can, to justify that at the end of the year, my understanding was DRA wouldn't approve this stuff at the, like the beginning of the year, it's like because they're like you've got your budget, but it's kind of a double-edged sword because, you know, if you suffer a catastrophic failure at the beginning of the fiscal year, you make your, you know, you're not really authorized to go dig into the contingency fund right then because you have your whole budget. Well, you'd use your general fund money. Yeah, well, yeah, that is right. Short, that's that's why I say it's kind of a double-edged sword because you, you got to use your jump. Yeah, but at the end of the year, just falling short. I don't know if falling short is the reason that. DRA. I would just hate to see us get stuck by a state agency. You know, that's like, oh, oh, no, that's you guys. You blew your budget. No, that's not a good reason. You can't do that. Yeah. That's my. I mean, didn't we have to do that recently, a couple of years ago? But the first year I was here, um, we overextended our budget yeah. because there was some maneuvering at the district meeting that eliminated funds that we had. They basically eliminated the Comstock fee. Right. Um, we have to pay that fee, and so that's we had to go to DRA to get yes, that yeah. do our budget. I remember that. So when when we discussed this last, it was on December 18. At that time, the actual for 2019 was fifty six thousand dollars. So at that point, we were four thousand dollars under what was appropriated. Right. And I think that had a lot to do with our decision to cut it back. And now we're at 69000 which is $13,000 higher than what, when we last discussed this, just to give you. Right. Well, any major repairs that were required in 19? Won't need to be done again, will they? No, and, and that was right. kind of the thing we were thinking about. Right. Right. You know, well, I mean, how many radi radiators can you put in an engine in two years? How many turbochargers? How many head gaskets? Yeah. So, I mean, it's a it's a very valid point. Yeah. And I do yeah. I do appreciate the courtesy of wanting to include me. Um, I I have no issue with the fifty four four sixty eight. I mean, it's it's a good number. We get. I mean, I know nobody likes me to say this, but the budget's at least that fat. And the, the biggest repairs that occur probably are not going to occur again. And any chance that you have to not raise money by taxes, when you have that, I, I'd, be, I'd be more likely 
I say, you know what, we need to stick at 59 if we didn't have that contingency. Mm -hmm. So if, if anything out of the ordinary happens in the beginning of the year, you use your general fund money to make that. And if you need it at the end of the year, you are absolutely, you have that sponge or whatever you want yeah. to call it. But that's a lot of money in one year, 70 grand. Yeah. A lot of money in maintenance. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta take care of them. And I, I did a study, the older the vehicle gets, and it was based on our equipment from 2015 to present. For every year you get a piece of equipment gets older, it adds 6.4% to its maintenance the following year. That's over average. Yeah, it, it doesn't really look that way when you look at yeah. some, but aggregate, it just goes up because they're older. <clears throat> and it can be compounded by the fact that it, I mean, you just, there's been a lot of time and effort spent in a capital improvement plan for the vehicles. Now, if we have a year where the voting body says, don't buy that truck, well, that shifts that and shifts everything out a year, right? So all, all the blocks in the, in the re replacement plan, you know, everything is, is, uh, is offset. So it already costs money to maintain them, but somebody, you know, if we get to the voting body and they vote not to buy that truck in the year that really makes fiscal sense to buy that truck, so right, it, gets, that, it snowballs on you. This is kind of an example of that, and I discussed it at the last meeting, I don't think you were here, is that in, I think it was 2015, we were scheduled to buy a new pumper. I forget what the cost of it was at that point in time. Um, but you kind of shot it down because it wasn't a separate warrant article. It was just included in the apparatus and equipment fund, which, which is, in your right, it, was, it should be a separate warrant article. That's our purchasing policy. But we didn't buy the pumper that year because of, it, was shot, it was withdrawn in the, through an amendment from the apparatus and equipment fund. And the commissioners at the, after that decided, well, we're going to keep engine one till it's time to replace it this year. So we didn't spend that amount with 600 and something thousand dollars then or whatever it was, almost 700 I think. But then we spent additional money on engine one to have it refurbed, like the cab was leaking and we repainted the frame rails and a lot of other work done, plus addition, additional um, things that have been going wrong with it for the past five years. And the amount of money we spent on that truck in the past five years is uh, nearing $80,000, $85,000. If we purchased that engine and replaced engine one at that time, the that engine would be about four or five years old now, and we probably would have only spent maybe $12,000 in maintenance fees. Well, that's a difference of about $60,000 of tax money that we couldn't, that we could have saved if we bought the truck new one in 2015, because Although we would have spent the, say, $700,000 out of the apparatus and equipment fund, that is funds Didn't through hit the tax not, rate. Tax, right. yeah. not, not tax money. It's all taxpayer money, but it's not through taxation. If we bought the truck then, we probably would have saved about $60,000, $65,000 of taxable money. So that's why... Um, I feel like when we do have an apparatus purchase and we, it's scheduled to be purchased, purchased at a certain time, we probably should follow through with it. Even though we are spending money, I think in the long run we're saving money, um, well in the short term we're saving money over, uh, because of the way we're organized. When we purchase vehicles we pay the cash and the cash is from revenue from ambulance funds. When we're repairing the trucks and maintaining them, we're using taxpayer money to do that. So, 
<clears throat> I'm gonna take a swing at this. I like round numbers, and I've, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of shoot in the middle here and put approximately twenty five hundred dollars back onto that number. I make a motion that we fund line six sixty, the amount of fifty seven thousand dollars. I'll second that. Uh, all right, discussion. Why 2,500? Meet in the middle. Kind of split the difference of where we were and where we were asked to go. Do we need the money or no? Right. Let me check our crystal ball. I, I hate repair stuff. I hate, you know, right. and that's the problem is that unforeseen what's going to break and, you know, so many of these other lines are, hey, that's that's what it costs to pay pay the people. That's what it costs for to do things. And so this line, this section, that's a, a tough lot of yeah. variables. I don't run my own checkbook that way. When, when my car craps out, I'm, <laughs> I'm against it, right? <laughs> you know, I don't... Uh, so I don't know, but... So you're looking at it strictly as a compromise? Looking at some of our historical data, also. Oh, but there's money, I mean, I was just thinking... It'd be great to not spend it and have it go back yeah. in the general fund at the end of the year. I was just taking a quick breeze through, like, okay, like, when we talk about, like, where did the nine grand come from? You know, it's like, uh, 2,400 a year. You know what? What didn't we? What didn't well, we get for tolls? About five thousand dollars came right from that vehicle maintenance portion. Yes, money that did. was money that was appropriated. It wasn't spent on on other vehicles. I'm talking. Right, but I mean the the, the whole line number. I mean we didn't save any money in the line number. In the, in the it didn't really come from that line. In number. the aggregate, yeah. yeah. Right. <clears throat> right. But I'm saying like the money did when you, when you look at the aggregate numbers yeah. at the bottom of the sections. Yeah. You know, like I, I would say, what what tools did we not buy? Why did we not? Why did we not repair pagers? Well, we, you know, and, and this is I don't I really don't want to discuss the whole thing specifically again. But I'm just saying, you know, were those? Are you saying those are things that you plan not to? You plan not to do, or you were fortunate enough that you hadn't done them yet. So how do, how, how we get? I mean, some, some of them were when we discussed it. Some some of the items like. Uh, SEBA, we have the flow testing, and during that is also repairs and maintenance that, that they find the problems that they find with the SEBAs, and on average it usually costs a certain amount of money. This year it didn't cost quite as much to repair the broken stuff on the SEBA. So instead of spending two thousand, we only spent like nine hundred. Right. So there's a little bit of savings there, right. but it's something that I can't predict. Yeah, we lucked out on fuel, you know, because the drop of a hat, the mm -hmm. price could spike. You could, you know. It could be issues with, with fuel, and we played that game yep. against oh, yeah. too. Sometimes you lose more than you win on on, on your fuels and, and energy costs. Period. Um. Do we see uh, any more possible major repairs to Engine Three? Because that seems to be the the suck out of this. I mean, it's. What it was budgeted, it looks like it's about seventeen thousand dollars over. So, that's, I don't know. I mean, I know what I have scheduled for it, and I didn't bring the, all the backup data for me, but we already because we already discussed it. It's the what if stuff that I'm looking at, and what if is going to go wrong with engine three? I don't know yet. It's like the crystal has, ball. Has, I guess it, has, there, it hasn't had a real good history of not breaking down. No, I know, but down. has there been any big ticket items that haven't broken yet? Where you know so we, we spent forty, you know, we spent forty-five thousand dollars on it. I'm sorry, nineteen thousand, you know, fifteen thousand. All of a sudden, it jumps up to twenty-eight thousand. You know. So we haven't lost the, the, the rear end yet. The turbo. You know? I mean, could the rear end go as well, I suppose it could, but we, uh, that's something that we do maintenance on, so it won't go. Uh, we haven't lost the transmission yet, but that's another thing that we maintain. But we maintain the engines, too, but it still stuff goes wrong with it. Um, we make sure that the things properly uh, lubricated. All the grease fittings, the zerk fittings are done at, during periodic times to make sure that those things 
are done so that we won't break shackles or we don't break springs, but we still break springs sometimes. The roads sometimes aren't uh, kind to these vehicles. The truck does have 110,000 miles on it. Um, so, three year rolling average, 72,589. Times the theoretical 6% lift, if the fleet all got a year older and it became 6% more expensive for these, to, and now you're at 76.9. So, you know, who knows? That, that, that 60 may, could vanish just as easy as 57, 55, or 50, or so. It's, t it, it's tough to, it's tough call either way. You can't, you can't point to anything that was hurt budgetarily by this overexpense. There's nothing that you can say, you know, damn it, I really yeah. wanted that, I really needed that, but I couldn't do it because we yep. overspent them. There's nothing. We couldn't pay the light bill. We couldn't pay the gas bill. There's none. There's none of that. Any other discussion? All those in favor of the fifty-seven thousand, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Um, any opposed? Okay. Nay. Okay. Nay. Put it out so four four no's. You're a nay? Yep. Dennis, where were you? I was a nay. Nay, nay, nay. So yeah, motion fails. So okay. we'll stick with the number. Considering but, Yeah. Well there needs to be a vote for fifty four, four sixty eight, right? No, that's where we were. Well, did you take a vote? We've we already we did. That. We did. Yeah, that was our we to increase it and it just failed. Yeah. Right, but was there a vote taken on the 54 Yeah, that's what we had yeah, in December. Yeah, in December that was because we, we pulled five off of the commissioner's number. But we as waited. A, yeah, as a team. That's so. right now. Nope, uh, okay, uh, moving forward, if yep. we can look at page nine, there are four line items that are highlighted that need to have at least one dollar right on to keep the line item open. <coughs> I'll move that we find line 4901 in the amount of $1. Second. Discussion. For so Chief, you are going to put 500000 The commission has agreed. That's for future land if we see, if we happen to see something? Yes. Charlie, go up one line, 4900 Capital outline. 4901 land. Are we doing 4900 or, or 4901? I said 4901. Didn't oh. I say 4901? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Uh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, so that was that was the purpose, but then I think um, after the commission voted it, they had a change in direction um, about even if land became available. They I guess they wanted to see what came out of the um, recommendations of the, the, the building committee. Um, so that's that's why. So they're leaning back towards the one dollar. Yes. I mean, you can. Ask we we already voted at zero. We're just fixing which would have which would have closed the line out. Right, it wouldn't be a line. We want to maintain the line. Right. Okay. Okay. For the future. So that you you want five hundred thousand just in case you find the land. Yes. So otherwise, if you find the land in April, then you can't do anything with it. That's correct. Except negotiate and sign a purchase and sales agreement contingent upon yeah, so future funding. Yes, you could do that. That wouldn't sound, sound too attractive to a seller. It wouldn't, would it? Uh, <laughs> and depends who your seller is. <laughs> All right, any further discussion? All those in favor of funding 4901 in the amount of a dollar, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? There being none. Motion carries. Move, uh, we find line 4902 in the amount of one dollar. Second. Discussion. So the chief's budget, commissioner's budget, there's nothing, there's a dollar. What is there? 
it's, the commission's put a dollar in there. I, I didn't budget anything for it. I, I forgot to do that when I was making up the budget. So your network printer is working currently? Yes. Can you scan that? The network printer is the scanner. Gotcha, right. I just got one. All right, any further discussion? All those in favor of funding 4902 in the amount of a dollar, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. I move we fund line 4903, capital O. Capital O building. Capital O building. Okay. For one dollar. Second. All right. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? What's the capital O building? That's one of the outlay. I think it's the capital outlay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not the plumbing? Yeah, this, is, this all falls under capital outlay. Any further discussion? All right, all those in favor of funding 4903 in the amount of a dollar, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any none? Motion carries. You will also move that we fund line 4909 other for the amount of one dollar. Second. Yeah, so what's other? Other. Because miscellaneous is bad, isn't it, Charlie? <laughs> other is worse. Kathy always said, miscellaneous is bad. You don't do miscellaneous. So last year, other was um, at the district meeting. The district voted to add $200,000 to other for architectural fees and design and engineering fees on. Um, what possibly the building committee would come up with, but that's going to lapse because the building committee, um, we didn't make a recommendation to the commissioners and uh, we didn't spend much of that money for anything. I forget exactly. So that was, that, was, that was in the budget. It wasn't put into the right account for not to lapse, so it's going to lapse. So, so where's that 200000 now? It's in the general fund. Darn. Remind me of that annual meeting. No, uh, we, we have a wallet that will take care of it, though. <laughs> mm. All right. Any further discussion? Or did we have a motion? Yeah, we had a motion. Yeah. 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 No, you're good, bro. Yeah, all right. Second. Further discussion? Uh, all right. All those in favor of funding 4909, the amount of a dollar, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Being done, motion carries. <coughs> what? Page 10 is warrant uh, out of those. Oh, okay. So, we can just put a dollar for those, too. Um, yeah, do we need to do 49? Like Eric was saying, do we need to vote on that? My 49 are the, the bottom for what? $4? $3? $4. I don't know. $4. If you specifically vote a line item, yeah. it does get added at the end. Right. You don't have to vote the yeah. bottom line because you've already. We don't know that the union band is that. Well, we've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, we got to add four dollars on to the twenty-four, two million four hundred two hundred fifty-one. So it'll be two million four hundred two hundred fifty-five. Whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. It? Right. And then the 2200 additional yeah. that was laid out no further up. Uh, for the server. Yep. Virtual server. Virtual server. Cloud. They say it's the cloud, but it's not. It's no. actually no, it's, physically there's located. Been, there's machines, the, yeah. Right. There's <laughs> real machines somewhere. Yeah. Right. Right. There's a warehouse somewhere in the middle of so, um, buried on the ground. So we actually we have to vote on all these individuals before we go to the war, even though they're in the warrants, right? No, you mean on page nine, uh, 10? Yeah, on page 10. If you vote the warrant articles as written, these will be... Okay, voted. so we're just going to go to the warrants then? Yes. If we recommend them, they'll be built. Right. Right. We'd skip like the first three or four, right? Yeah. 
Article one, two, three. Four is the operating budget. Which has to be, that number has to be amended by $2,204 upwards from the votes up tonight. Say twenty two oh four. Yes, that's all we do. Yep. Two million four hundred four thousand two fifty five. Twenty four oh four two fifty five. I move we recommend Article 4 in the amount of see if the district will vote to raise the appropriate budget the committee recommended sum of two million four two million four hundred and four thousand dollars two hundred four hundred and four thousand two hundred and fifty five dollars. Second that. Discussion. What's the number? Two million. Four hundred and four thousand two fifty five. So this is recommended by only two members of the board of commissioners, is that yes. Is that correct? Yes. What what was the dissent? Uh, Probably wanted more money. Paul um, Osier voted against it. Hi. I'm thinking it had something to do with Is it tied to the personnel? I think so. Yeah. Situation? Yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> All right, discussion on this one. Is everything we've already tackled. All right. There being no further discussion, all those in favor of Article 4 in the amount of 2,404,255, please signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. Okay. Aye. Any opposed? Opposed. What's that? Nay. Nay. All right. Motion carries. Five. Indicates four hundred and seventy eight thousand seven hundred ninety three dollars. I'll second that. Discussion. Every year, this particular article comes up. You know, you know. Yeah. 
cannot wrap my head around the need for a half a million dollars worth of new equipment to track the ambulance. There's no, there's no ambulance in this. this it's just ambulance charity. <coughs> That's uh, a fee we pay cost now. Yeah. Subtract that because that's directly related to how much we do. They get a percentage of that. So the three hundred thirty-nine thousand seven hundred thirty-one of it is for the SCBAs. Buying all new SCBAs. That's this a year. once. It was it once every fifteen year expense. Yes. That's the big expense on this line item this year. So what what happened to the grant for that? So, I wrote a grant for it and was denied the grant because. We have $1.5 million in our capital reserve fund. That's just what we're, we're fiscally responsible and stuff like that. And it says, and the answer was, you have $1.5 million in the bank. Buy them yourself. So we can't get a grant for it. So, we, so we're good in that we uh, have a good capital reserve plan and we're able to uh, budget but when we have major purchases and stuff, we can buy them. But at the same time, it hurts us for grants unless we expend the money. So this year, if we buy the engine, and we buy the, we have to buy the SCBAs. There's no way around not buying them because the current SCBAs are going to expire halfway through this year and we won't be able to use them at all. But at any rate, um, that's the over a million dollars or around a million dollars somewhere of, of that one and a half million dollars is going to go away. And next year, we're budgeting for a new ambulance. So if there's a grant that I need to purchase for something next year, we will be eligible for that because the, the half million dollars or so that's left, or something less than that, is already earmarked towards the an ambulance that will be um, in the budget process. So they, we can, I can subtract that. It's almost the when same. The grant it's almost the same. Your funds are encumbered. Or yeah. That they're when the grant allocated. opportunities have come up, but not this time. I mm -hmm. <laughs> just said no. Yeah. How many SUVA units is there? Twenty-six. Plus a new compressor. That was. Riding positions on the trucks. Yes, correct. Say that again. Ri each riding position on all the vehicles. <coughs> so if a truck goes out with five seats, it's which got five. Which is more? It's, it's which is more people than we have. It's more SCBJs. Well, it but includes if a volunteer or all firefighters. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's more than we have full time. Yes, yeah. it's more than we have in total, isn't it? We're purchasing less now than what we currently own. Right. What I'm saying is the number you want to buy exceeds the number of right, but if you buy the amount of seats in the vehicles. Certified personnel. Uh, it's close. It's still in the same ball. Maybe by two or three, one way or the other, I'd have to go count it again. But I, that isn't how I do it. Oh, well, I understand that. But it doesn't make sense. See, NFPA requires that you have an SEBA for every riding position for vehicles that go to fires. Because you don't know what vehicle you're going to take, you have to equip all the vehicles that do go to fires with SEBAs for those riding positions. So engine one and engine three and the ladder. The ladder's got six SEBAs in it. Um, engine one has six, but we're going to replace engine one with an engine that only has five. So the new Engine will only have five. Engine three has five riding positions. The rescue's got two. Uh, the tanker's got two. Uh, I have one. The company has one. Given the situation of uh, personnel, whatever you argue it to be, ad adequate, inadequate, whatever, there's a snowball's chance of hell that the ladder truck can have six people on board. Has it ever happened? I've never seen that trouble any more two people. Well, I have. Um, I don't think I've seen it with six people in it, but I've seen it with more than two for sure. So had four other people in it the other night. But what you're saying is you're required to have those available no matter how many people you have. 
for the, for the right. position. Yes. Well, yeah. well, do you have somebody so, on those? Positions? So if the ladder goes out, we take the seats out. We don't need the SCBA for that position. Or I'd have to take the seats out of the truck. And you can argue policy like short string your trucks and still have zero affect on the tax rate. <laughs> That's what I mean. We're talking it's, about the equipment and it, apparatus. It's all, fund. You know, it's all our money. The people who say, "Well, we spend it out of there," it doesn't affect the tax rate. It doesn't. But if we took that money and put it in the general fund, guess what? It would affect the tax rate. So it's all our money. Right. It would affect it. It, it would affect it. It would affect it in a small in a small way. I, and, I agree. It would affect it in a small way. But it's it's a very it's it's counterintuitive thought process because it's very short sighted. Because we can take it all away, we can save ourselves a nickel, a thousand on our tax rate, and then we can spend a hell of a lot more when we actually oh. Well, guess what? Now we do need it. And guess where that 811000 for the fire trucks from? Boom. Where's that four, Where's that half a million for the SCBA coming from? Boom. That, it will affect the tax rate. So, you know, it's... So, you know, so you, I you guess I'm, I'm wondering if the truck goes out with only four SCBAs and four firefighters, and two call firefighters show up to assist. Sorry. We're going to buddy breathe on this one because, know. you know... But, that, but that's... I, right. people go to the scene. That's, that's I don't... Right. Uh, here, here, but take again, mine. It's counterintuitive I'll be right back. And they may. Your turn. I mean, you don't want to. You're not supposed to, are they? I, I didn't hear your question. So you call firefighters just show up at a scene somewhere? No, they go to the fire station first. So, so the someone show up on a scene and need them. Need them. They're not supposed to. Right. Unless, like, they have their equipment and they're actually driving by the fire on their way to the fire station, then they're allowed to stop. So we got this half a million coming out of. That's pretty fun. We get eight hundred thousand on the next page. We are just spending money like drunken sailors. We're going to have no money, and you want to change the purpose of the apparatus fund to do something that's going to be no money to do it with. That's not true. I um, I've given you this sheet, which outlines all our future purchases and all our anticipated revenues. All the future purchases I've um, probably um, put in there as a little bit more expensive than what they're probably going to be, and I underestimated our revenues. You'll see that as we go along and we buy whatever we have to buy, which all our expenses are here and all our incomes here, that never goes to zero. It's, I make sure as long as I'm here and running that capital reserve fund, I will never put that fund in jeopardy, and I will make sure that we get good quality equipment for our personnel and it maintain that and still be able to put on a yearly basis, be able to analyze it if the next uh, warrant article passes, that the commissioners and I can recommend a f amount of money to come out of this and to help defray costs of a bond or a building or whatever. <coughs> As you'll see, the warrant article is written. It's for fire station right. maintenance it's a, or repair. So. And um, <clears throat> I've actually have it in here that when we furnish it, we do the FFME on a new station or stations, all that FFME, or most of it, will be out of this thing, and then we'll be able to can still contribute maybe $30,000 a year towards a bond payment or a renovation or whatever, however the district decides that they're going to pay for a new or renovated <coughs> station. Um, I, I, this is one of the smartest things this district ever did, was develop this. And it's one of the most important things I do, is manage this to make sure that it's healthy and vibrant at all times. I am not going to jeopardize well, it. Yeah, and I, sure. and I, uh, I've I mean, given it to yeah. This was on, the, well, I think, the day after New Year's. Maybe yeah, it was there, there, so yeah. you can have that. Um, They've been distributed I, several times. Yes. yes. I'm not, um, I would not be frivolous. I don't ask things in a frivolous manner that would put that program in jeopardy. I wouldn't do it. So if, if the FCBAs are spending money like drink, drunken sailors, we've been drinking for three years because that's how long we've been talking and preparing for this expense. So It's not a surprise by any measure, right? No. I mean, as a taxpayer, I find it comforting to have this fund because it's not it's not a surprise. It's not gonna be one of those you know, it's not a half a million dollar big ticket item or excuse me, with the fire truck, you know, 
it's not a $1.5 million big ticket item that will have a serious effect on our tax rate. Especially now. I mean, I, mean, I, I personally feel, I, I feel like I'm being personally prosecuted, persecuted, whatever, prosecuted, persecuted by the town of Dilton. Jesus, my taxes just went up, my assessment went up 100 grand, and I just got a letter from him. Hey, congratulations, Mr. Manning, you've been chosen. Now we want to go through the inside got, of your home. I got, I got that, too. Did you get that, too? Yeah. 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 I got, my, I got you the, think our land is more valuable? I got the December Hang tax bill. Ass, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I got the new special tax bill, the big left. And, so, I mean, I'm, I'm conscientious of every freaking nickel in these budgets. But, I mean, I don't, I've said it a thousand times. I mean, the fire and EMS is not my main concern or $2 or something. It's that $11 one that I get squat from that fries my butt. So, I, I appreciate that as well. Mine went up 144000 Yeah. I mean, it's just moved to Northfield. It'll be high to start yeah. with. Yeah. And I, you know, so I don't have a lot of sympathy for Northfield because it's 35% of whatever we vote on here. So if you pull, if you pull the SCBAs out of the this equipment and apparatus fund portion of the equipment, it's like 90k, right? <clears throat> yeah, you end up with a number yeah. that's very close to what we've been spending last year and the year before and the year before. So. It's not like it's not like things are going all of a sudden off the rails. Uh, no, eighteen was three fifty seven. We bought an ambulance. Put two hundred and fifty thousand. Talking about so. don't don't look at the, the vehicles. Look at page twelve with uh, seven forty, which is the fire equipment, and seven forty one, which is EMS. Because those are the numbers that were, uh, and then 960 rescue equipment. Those are the numbers that we're comparing. I mean, in 2018 was the big radio project, which you're not going to see again for a while. But it didn't, it didn't hit in the same year as the SCBA project because it's planned, and I, I get it. It's fire. It's fire. Fire and EMS, it's not the DPW. It's just expensive. Huh? Stuff. Stuff. I guess I, I just I don't feel from with this number. I'm I'd hate to, I'd hate to be in a truck going someplace with one other person and there's only two SCBAs. I don't even know if I'd feel good about having three. Because things go wrong, right? I would want some redundancy there, or, or geez, you know, I just went on a call and spanked this one, or broke it on, you know, going on the call, and now I'm on another call because that whole call within a call. Yeah, thing. I mean, what's the average breathing time of one of those? Yeah. I was a scuba diver, and yeah. I mean, that's yeah. I ever had was a little over an hour underwater. So the ones we currently have are rated for a uh, half hour. Half an hour? Yeah, but that's if you're sitting watching TV. Yeah. But, right. but listen, we're, we're, we're discussing something that's mandated. Yeah. Well, that's, right. We can't can change it. Right. We can change the other 100,000 or so that's in that. Mandated by who? It's a, a standard by NFPA and Firefighters Manufacturing Association, Trucks Manufacturing Association. It's a, a OSHA requires it as well. So it's, it's mandated or standard by a number of agencies. I mean, I'm not against SCBA. I, I used to love the things. It's just that the overall expenditure of this organization just reminds me. Right. Which seems like it's not really objective. It seems more personal than objective. No, I, I don't. No, it's just 2.4 million uh, my town's going to be three and a half million. School's going to be 27, 28 million. Before the Warren articles, yeah. right? Before it's they... just. Right. And I empathize with you, but I won't sympathize with you. <laughs> That's all there is to it. We're, not, we're all in the same boat, but. Right, and to your earlier point, we're not even paying 65% of this one. Because it's well, okay. In theory, right. it's the 
the right. fund that I. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, it seems like we if we didn't have the fund, we'd have the money. But then the that, yeah, right. and and then the years when we do need the to have the money, you know, if we didn't have the fund, yeah, we get we get sticker shock on the yeah on the up and down. So it's a blessing and a curse. I'll take the blessing. Any further discussion on the 470? Article 5. Article, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Simple enough. I got my glasses on. They're not, just, they're not dialed in right for this stuff. <clears throat> All right. No further discussion. All those in favor of recommending Article 5, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Recommendation. Yes. So made. Six. What? Article six. Oh, I thought we heard. Sorry. No. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gun. Well, the spirit of moving this along, mm -hmm. I will. Uh, I move that we uh, recommend Article six. I'll second it. For the fire engine. We talked about three. It, yeah, any updates on the uh, so vendors and the... Uh, so, uh, the bid is in the process right now. Uh, bids are not, the final bids are not due until the end of the month. And so, um, but this is the best guess I have on what my discussions <coughs> with all the apparatus manufacturers for a vehicle that at the time that we had all the discussions would meet the specifications of uh, what we were requesting. So we'll have to let the air out of the tires to, to get include in fitting in the building. <laughs> yes, to include all that. So in particular, which one is this? The 811-4? The C-grade. That's a C-grade. And the other two were deemed unviable because they wouldn't guarantee that they'd fit in the building. That's correct. Plus or minus two inches. Mm. It's a big... It'd be, it'd be a big gash out of the front of that yeah. building. And that's what both of them said, plus or minus two inches. So we'll see what they say because the bid is very specific on the, the height. And if they say, yes, we'll build it at 9 feet 6 inches plus or minus 2 inches, they're done. So what happens in two weeks when you get word back from the other two manufacturers that, in fact, they can meet this? the size specification, and, and they meet your requirements in all ways. So the specification is 88 pages long. We'll go through every single thing and find out where they meet our qualifications and where they deviate, and we'll weigh it all out, and we'll come up with the vehicle that meets the our specifications the most for the least amount of money, and I'll bring that amount. Uh, we'll probably amend it at the town meeting for that point in time because that's when I'll really know what's going on. And, and this truck was the most expensive, so the, this is kind any, of a cap. Any amendment would be less than this. Absolutely. Likely, yeah. And you're, you had a committee uh, determine the specifications and requirements for the machine that was had call firefighters, full-time firefighters, yourself, deputies. I actually was not on the committee. Okay. John, were you on the committee? Uh, John, chairman of the committee. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. So, so any that, comments, notes? Sorry to interrupt. Or when you when we, you're done, and well, yeah. if he wants to finish yeah, his well, question when, when, you're, when you're done, answer. Because I'm yeah. curious how this. I guess what I'd like to know is, at the end of the day, did the did that group, that committee, determine specifications, or determine specifications and a potential vendor? Uh, we haven't made a recommendation on a vendor to go with yet because we haven't seen final proposals from the vendors yet. Uh, so, were, so up to now, you've just you've just determined requirements and specifications. Yes. And it's it's your intention to to pick one of their final proposals. Yes. Um, we started this whole process in April when it was decided that the commission was going to be going forward with asking for. A truck this year and we met with the vendors in May and we've been working with them they, they're all very busy for a small department we order one truck maybe every 10 years some of these vendors work with well the vendors don't but the dealerships work with New York City Boston you know they order 15 20 trucks at a time so 
That's right. Yeah. When we get our specifications to the vendors, the vendors put it into their order sheet, and then we get put into the queue at engineering. That's 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 the other side of the equation. I'm interested in our side of the equation. Yeah. Okay. So so you guys sat down and you determined this is what we need for a truck. These yes. are the requirements and specifications. Yes. Right. And you presented that to the chief in general outline form. And yes. then the chief sent it to different vendors. These are the specifications we require. Will you give us a bid? Is yes. That, is that correct? Yes. You your committee never dictated or recommended one vendor over another. Is that correct? Not yet. Not yet, but it's your intention to? It is our intent. Once we receive their proposals, we're going to look at the trucks, look at the specs, and recommend to the chief that this is the truck the committee recommends that the department buys. Okay, what if, what if your recommendation differs from your recommendation or your preference? Well, I'm probably going to go with their preference because they're the ones that are going to be working on the truck 99.9% .9 of the time. Probably will or you will? They will be. <laughs> no, 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 no. You probably will go with theirs or you will go with uh, theirs. I, you, said, you said I probably will go with theirs. I feel most likely I will go with theirs, but I have to see, I have to, I, I, I still want to see what they're proposing and if there's something that's glaring that they're recommending something that I think is really poor, and I don't think that's going to happen. But I'm, going to re I'm, going to, I'm not going to say right now. I'm going to definitely go with their recommendation until I see all the proposals as Whose well. Whose recommendation is going on this Warren article? Theirs or yours or a combination? Right now, it's, it's the but truck it, that met the specifications at the time that we put and collected all the data. That, the, that price, mm. which is a C grade, because they guaranteed they would fit in the building. I so understand that's that, part that number. Of so I, what if another vendor comes in at, at $40,000 less, okay, mm -hmm. and meets the specifications? And it, it's not the preference of you or the committee, it's, but it's the, a, a model that meets the specifications and requirements that you've outlined and comes in at the least cost. Are you going to brush them aside because it's not your preference or it's not your preference? No, no. I mean, still have to be fiscally responsible. No, I, that's, that's my whole point. Is if you've determined the requirements and specifications, you've already dictated this is what we need. You guys have agreed to those specifications and requirements. This is what we need. If two vendors meet those specifications, or three, and there's a forty or $50,000 difference in cost, at that time, are you going to go with the least expensive model, or are you going to go with your preference, or their preference, or a combination of preferences? I, th I think without seeing the final versions of all the, the bids, I, I can't, really can't answer that. Yeah, what but if I, one comes in at 90% of the specs, another one comes in at 90% of a different set of the specs, and another one, because you said it's like 80 pages of... It's 88 pages right. long. So this one got a B minus. This one got an A plus, A minus. This one got. So how do you everything have? within the specs? There are some things that are probably more important than others, and if they meet the more important things on that spec, I would probably go with that than some of the things that I think are maybe a little less important on the specification. And th but this is something that the committee and I would work out. It's do you have a policy that says we're going to get so many bids? We have a purchasing policy, and it goes out to bid. And, and, and do you look at the three best bids? Is that how you do we'll it? We'll look at all the bids that we receive. Sometimes when we go out to bid, we But do you have a cutoff date? I mean, so... Yeah, the, so January okay, 31st, so if somebody comes due. in, somebody comes in mid-year, $40,000 less, you're not going to consider that. No. Because well, that doesn't meet your policy. So the, the bid that we put out, their final bids, proposals, have to be on my desk by January 31st then we're going to sit down, we're going to go through the whole thing and find out who meets the specifications, like 100% or 90% or 80%. So the, you have one <coughs> bid now that will fit in the building. Have you, is it a formal bid where they tell you what portions of the specifications they need and what they don't? 
or is it just a verbal? Yeah, we can get some, we can build some little fit in the building. He, he gave me a writing that they met every single one of the the outline that we gave, but I haven't received his final proposal yet. When I produced that eighty-eight page document with you know axles and all that kind of stuff out there, so when we were talking to the vendors, we were you know we want it to be this long, we want it to be this hot, it can't be any higher than this. We want uh, these features on the truck you know, certain features. We want it to sit five people in the cab. We want to have an EMS cabinet uh, in the cab. We want, um, you know, a, a 1,750 gallon per minute pump. It has to have hold 1,000 gallons of tank. We have this hose load on the back. It has to fit that hose load. We have these uh, lighting requirements uh, for scene lighting. It has to meet those requirements. And uh, like 88 pages worth of that kind of stuff. The compartments have to be a minimum of this width, this height. Um, the doors on the cab have to so be the, a middle, minimum certain width so that we can make sure that we get in and out. So the number that we're looking at here is just a uh, best guess. Yes. There is no formal document saying that this number is a valid quotation for that machine. That's correct. Okay. And you'll have all of that information on January 31st. Yes. When does this have to be completed in order to get to, uh, for Kathy to get it to DRA? Well, that's why we're meeting now. So this this is a not to exceed number. I think it, that's what it says in the thing. Um, I guess it didn't make it to the commission has voted. Raise appropriate. The commission, in their deliberation, said not a number not to exceed this amount, but when it went to DRA, that part must have gotten taken out because it's not in here. But um, I, I can't tell you the exact number, but this is the best guess of what I had at the time for something that would that I knew would fit in the station. Now, when those come in, I will know better once we review it all. I'll have a better number. Maybe. Maybe it'd be worse. <laughs> I hope not. Right, but as, as this is right now, we're looking, to, we're looking to either recommend or not recommend as written. Mm. Are we not? I Su mean, suggestion in the future is if we know we have a timeline to meet this, that we get all the bids and specs in. Uh, get all the, the numbers in before that so that we can have a discussion here of what the actual number is. Yes, I, I really I really hate question marks. Yeah, I'm not good with that. Well, because I don't have the wording in there either. The, 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 I, the spirit of it, but what I understood it was a cap that it was not to exceed it, that we'd hope for the best that would, it would come in under that when, when everything's settled out. But. It doesn't have to say not to exceed because you can know it. Spend more than one hour. Right. Without it being amended, right? Correct. Right. You could amend it on the floor of the meeting. But, uh, John? John? Um, so, as I said before, I chaired this committee. Yeah. Matt and I make up 50% of it. We were on the last engine committee for the truck that got voted down. So, we're very aware of the beat of the fire district and the price sensitivity. So, we are obviously all about building a truck that meets our needs and gives us the features that we want. But we are very aware of the district's frugalness, and we don't. We are sensitive to the price of the truck as well. Matt's a taxpayer in the district. I tried to move to the district. That's another story. But <laughs> <laughs> um, so just rest assured that we do have that in mind. We're not. No, I, and I'm not questioning that. I don't want you yeah, to think I that I, I am. That way, I'm, I'm questioning the number and how we came upon that number and how we present that to the taxpayers. I, I, I have full confidence in your your work and your committee's work. Trust me. I'm not second guessing that. Yeah. So, so that I believe that she, and Chief, correct me if I'm wrong. You came at that number because Seagrave was the highest preliminary number that we received, and then you tacked on the new equipment that we weren't going to be able to reutilize from engine one. Correct. But that's not a firm quotation. That could change. They could come back and say, look, I'm sorry. You know, I missed something. And it comes back at 50 grand more. Well, 
they're out of luck at that point, and so would we be, I guess, if we didn't get well, a that, truck that, that fits yeah, in the station. That, that's my whole point, is I don't want to be out of luck. But I, I know when we went through the specifications, and they really didn't change all that much the whole time we were discussing them, um, we talked about you know, uh, things like uh, roll-up doors or a raised roof cab and stuff like that, and so like for the raised roof cab, we would like a raised roof cab, but we put it as an option, not as a requirement. In the way it was written in the specifications, if you can give us a raised roof cab and still meet the height requirement, that's what we want. If you can't meet the height requirement with a raised roof cab, it's, it's got to be a flat even roof cab. Even if the raised roof is 10 grand? Raised roof is about $1,400. Whatever it is. It's, but it's, it's it gives us spent. operational space inside the cab and space to store uh, dry clothes and stuff like that where a flat roof cab, that space is eliminated. And so now we have uh, duty bags with dry clothing and stuff, especially in the winter, or our, our wet suits, our dry suits when we go swift water. Those are going to be floating around now. They they're not going to have a specific space that we would like with the raised roof cab where we could have a specific space for those things. How close in, in the specification is this truck compared to the one that we didn't buy in 15? Pretty damn close. Pretty so in, in three years that truck went up 200 and... No. No? No. No, no 700 and 750 I believe last time. Yeah. So, So somebody tests so me I on the shoulder. In, in this thing here, I project uh, vehicle expenses to go up at 5% per year. What's that? Five years. Yeah. Um, it hasn't been 5% for the last few years. It's been about 4%. So if you look out, you'll see that you'll see a yellow number in like somewhere out in the distance. That number is probably going to be higher than what it actually cost. And that's one of the reasons why this stays viable. That I over anticipate what something's going to cost and I under anticipate our revenues. <clears throat> so if someone taps you on the shoulder, you have Tomorrow to and ask me, hey Paul, I understand that uh, you approved the warrant article last night for $811,000 for a fire engine. What are we going to get? What do I hand on a paper that's got a question mark on it? You're going to get I'm a, being smart, of okay, course. Okay, so you, you'd say, we're going to get a fire engine that meets the needs of the fire district, and it's going to, and it's going to cost uh, no, more than, no this. more than this. Good answer. And if, and if the best bid comes in less, we draw the number down at the, at we'll the, have, the, bid, at the district meeting. And we'll have all those numbers by then? Yes. All three, all three vendors are just... The preferred vendor. Well, I'll have all three numbers, uh, but I'll what we decide will be um, we'll go through a little process, and it'll be what best meets the district needs in that vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Plus, I remember it was a you said it was kind of a short list of who you could get even to bid because of service and. Support and uh, yeah, there's a, who's there's around. There's a lot of manufacturers in the United States. Well, it's about 12 manufacturers in right. the United States. Some of them don't have any service facilities in New England, or right. not these, never mind. You know, one of the requirements that we have is they have a service facility within 75 miles of us. Okay. Any further discussion on Article 6? <clears throat> all right, there being none, all those in favor of recommending Article 6 as written, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Me too. Just, just, I want a truck, but I want to know more. I, I, I'm not saying no to the truck, I'm saying no to this piece of paper that's just not, just not there. When's the uh, public hearing on this? 10th. 10th, 
so hopefully by then we'll... Yeah, the public hearing on the 10th, and then there's... Yeah, you weren't here for that. And there's another one on the, the 24th, uh, the article we're about to discuss. 24th. All right, Article Seven. Can we? Um, I'm gonna have to. You gotta go, right? Um, can we? Do you want to pick a different one? Talk about um, eleven. Sure. Okay. Last year, it was felt we needed two hundred thousand. This year, it's only a hundred. The commission. I requested two hundred. The commission has changed it to a hundred thousand. And this is. This is raised by taxation? Yes. And it could come out of the apparatus and equipment fund if that yeah. passed a change. It could come out of the reserve fund. It's not, yeah. yeah. So there's an additional article in there to, the, the one after that is to take money from the general fund to put it in the wind building fund. Um, and where our audit is coming up, I think it's February, the week of February 10th, I believe our audit is. So we'll know, we'll have a better idea of what number this, they said 50,000 just to put a number in there. It may be 150, it may be 25. So we don't really know what that number is going to be until after we're audited. So before we talk about it, so 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 this number on twelve will probably or could be amended on the town meeting uh, district meeting floor. Yeah, I anticipate that it will be if this article is adopted. Because the auditors will tell you what you should and shouldn't have in your, the, in your unassigned fund balance. Right, right. Based on is it unassigned or undesignated? Uh, right. I can't. I get confused on that all the time. Know. And they change the language every so often. Well, so yeah. we can move the discussion along. Yep. I'm going yep. uh, to move that we. Uh, but Kevin, are you done with 11? Are you still? Yes. Okay. Um, oh, that's all you want to talk about. Wait, I, I just want no. to. He's got to go. The, the commission has decided not to put in a warrant for, to increase to change the violence. Did the commission is up not to put in a warrant article to change the bylaws. No, there's a. Um, they did vote to put a warrant, but DRA threw it out because there's an RSA 670 colon two hyphen A hyphen optional election of commissioners and districts within the towns of Merrimack and Hookset, and basically it says only the towns of Merrimack and Hookset where the commissioners can put a warrant article in to change the number of commissioners from three to five. Every other, every, I have, the, I have it right here. Every other village district within the state, it has to be a um, uh, petition. So to do that, we have to do it as a petition. When's the deadline for that? It's, I don't, I don't know, it's, we, get, we got time. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Kevin. So are you comfortable with us voting on the rest of these without you here? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll go to the meeting. Okay. <laughs> you laughing at Sit next to me. So we're going back to order, then, right? Yeah. Seven. <clears throat> I'll move that we, uh, why don't you do recommend Article 7, change purpose of that press. Fund. Second that. All right, discussion. So this is to see what this to make bond payments. Okay. Only question with that is how is how will how will the number what does it say? Add payments and bonds. I'm just wondering where the number is gonna come from. The number will come from the commissioner, so we'll recommend a number um, at a, for a warrant article every year that money will be drawn from the apparatus and equipment fund to be put in the land and building fund or to reduce the payment of a bond right. if we have a bond. So it will likely be a number recommended by you based on our yes. uh, plan and our based on our, Okay. Yes. So, right, I would just, I just don't want to see like an arbitrary number where someone's like, no. Oh, It'll be a number this, that this I is be tell them what that would Yeah, you don't want to throw $50,000 a year in <laughs> away if you don't have it. Or you know, well, that's, that's yeah. my point. You drain the tank, just, then... I don't want them yeah. to have an arbitrary number. Yeah. So, 
That's the only question I have. If that, yeah, that's how it operates. The only you way you could have a year where you can't take it in. There may be years where it couldn't, that yeah. might not happen, that's but it. I don't anticipate that right now. Right. Right. Well, a proper. Ex I mean, if the funds stay, if the incoming funds stay somewhat regular, and we have, and we appropriately execute that plan, that should be. Yeah, if our, co if our collection rate's good, or if adding the staff to the calls gets more calls that we earn for, right? Because we're not not giving calls away. Giving them right. wet. I mean, yeah, it's all right. kind of. So, so this is this board article is and then there's Murphy's law. Is yeah. specifically changing the purpose. That's correct. Of the fund, not how that money is distributed f from the fund, so that will remain unchanged. Right. So any money that comes out of the fund still has to be a warrant article at, at, at the district body. At, yeah. at the district meeting. Okay. Right. So the only thing that this discusses is the purpose of the fund, That's what correct. it can be used for. That's right. correct. And we're just adding in payments towards bonds, loans, and promissory notes for the construction renovation. It's very specific. It's just an addition to, we're just adding on to what it can do. Right. So, I mean, yeah, well, I mean, changing the purpose, sure, we are to a... Well, that's what it says. No, I'm, I'm just I'm saying changing Edward. the purpose. I mean, when you, at first glance, like, oh, they're changing the purpose. Well, I mean, yeah, sure, kind of, sort of. We're adding, but it also, we're it adding a sentence to it. Right, right. But that doesn't even say that you're going to take it and put it in, in a land and building fund. It's to make payments. Yes. That's right, towards a You've got to be here in, in debt. Right. You've... Right. Signed on a note, and now you're, you know, right. taking right. the edge off. You're not putting it in a fund for no, right. no. Right. tomorrow. And, and, and it will have to be, it will have to be explained that the, because there's going to be a good percentage of people that show up there, they're going to think that's going to be a, a, a savings account. Yeah, <laughs> it's going towards a savings account. No, it's no, going it's towards to pay your mortgage. Right. No, right. I understand yeah. that 100. No, percent no. I'm just, but we have people who won't. Right. Because there'll be plenty of people there to confuse the hell out of the issues. Any further discussion on Article 7? Not for me. Me neither. All those in favor of recommending Article 7, please signify by say, saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Agree none. Article 7 is recommended. Uh, I move that the uh, Budget Committee recommend Article 8 for the health insurance deductible. I'll second that. For, actually, I should just, I'll specify $1,600. Yeah. Sorry. No worries. Sorry. I was slow on the, it. The simple explanation to this is that we, the district maintains $5,500 in the health insurance deductible fund, and we spent $1,600 out of that $5,500, so we'll be plunging that yeah. up to $5,500. And it's coming from, it's not due taxation, it's not assigned fund balance. That's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor of recommending Article 8, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Being done. Motion passes. Aye. I will move that we recommend Article 9, the fire prevention. Um, something fund, right? What's the ETF? Expendable trust fund. Uh, expendable trust fund, thank you. In the amount of $8,734. I'll second that. And we'll just remind everybody that that uh, comes out of the permit fees. And These the are the fees, fees right. that we raised to fire prevention this year, and so what we do is we deposit the, the fees that we raised into this fund, and the next article is how we withdraw it for the purposes of fire prevention. To buy crayons. Maybe. Or whatever. <laughs> whatever Deputy Jubert wants to buy for fire prevention purposes. Colorful. It also covers some training for fire oh, prevention good. training right. as well. No, I, it was, I remember the, you know, the outreach portion. Yep. The, um, but we'll get, we can discuss that yeah. the next day. Any discussion on Article 9? All right, there being none, all those in favor of recommending Article 9, the amount of A734, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? <coughs> cool. Article 9 is recommended. I move that we, the budget committee, recommend Article 10 for the fire prevention budget, the amount of $7,520. Second. Discussion. So does he have like a plan all laid out? Budget. He does have yes. a yeah. And so it is some of it's for 
crayons yeah, and right, the, the plastic hats and yep. books, but also covers costs for uh, training uh, additional personnel to be fire inspectors um, to uh, have additional people help us out when we do fire prevention week at the schools and stuff like that because uh, we'll try and get call people to come in and help us do that because a lot of times we'll get a call yeah. in the middle of it and the career guys got to go at right. least the call guys can stay there and continue along with the program so that's what that, those funds are for. Is this an average year up down? This is up. up. Because of the training or? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Training and stuff. That's good. Any other discussion? Well, this one doesn't affect the tax rate either. It does nope. not. No. Yeah. Oh, it's the money that we just put back, put into the fund from the permits and fees and Mark inspections. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we just put money in the tank and we're taking out less than we put in. So he's got a little bit of retainage. It's kind of like the apparatus and equipment fund where the, we take the revenue from the ambulance and purchase ambulance stuff. Right. This is money that we take in fees for our fire prevention and put it back into fire prevention education and training. Any other discussion on 10? There being none, all those in favor of recommending Article 10, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. Any opposed? There being none, Article 10 is recommended. Mm -hmm. I will move that we recommend Article 11, Design, Engineering, and Architectural Fees, at some $100,000. Got a budget Can I get a second? I'll second. Okay, my question, are, are, where's this fund coming from again? Are, is this something that we're raising? Raising by yeah, taxation. Yeah, we're raising, raising appropriate. Okay, so we're raising, and you said that we had, we raised some other money here in the past for this current building committee to? It's going to lapse. So last, last year, the, uh, at district meeting, the, they voted 200000 for the design and engineering fees. Right. But we didn't spend that because we didn't have a recommendation or a plan to, to actually spend it. And so it's lapsed, and now it's gone into the general fund. Right, so it went into the general fund. Yeah. So we, we need to... Um, so that money that went into the general fund, where did, where did that go? It's there. It's just sitting there. It's just sitting there. It's waiting for another 100000 added to it for more, <laughs> for more uh, design and engineering and architectural fees. So... The following article is an article to take fifty thousand dollars out of the general fund and put it towards land and building fund. But once we have um, a better idea from our accounts, you know where we fall, that number will probably be maybe that two hundred thousand, maybe two hundred and fifty thousand or one hundred and eighty thousand, depending upon where we can be according to the standards of the. Or it's an ask fee or whatever they call it. Right. So the other fifty thousand. Basically, no. at the end of the day, we're supposed to have sixteen point six seven 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 of our operating budget in our undesignated fund to maintain our operating ability for the first couple months of the year. Yeah. Before tax. Before tax. Well, right? Yeah. And so we don't have to borrow. But we're we're on two. That's like that's two different subjects, aren't we talking about? Well, we're talking about the money that we raised and appropriated for design, engineering, and architectural fees. And we didn't use it. Right. So my that that did not give me a warm fuzzy. That it's like we had that we so we didn't use a hundred thousand, but now because we're supposed to keep a set amount of money in there, we're only going to have fifty thousand dollars that. Can't cut circuits back up. I, I, I can't. I, honestly, I mean, I, I guess I got lost. It was. I don't mean. I, and I don't mean this. I, I got lost. That doesn't. I mean, to me, it was convoluted. I, I'll say it. I'm not trying to be critical of you, just because I don't get it. It was convoluted to me. I'm not saying you're. You know, I. I guess I, I still don't have a warm fuzzy. Like, okay, so we had two hundred thousand dollars. We only used a hundred thousand dollars. So we. We had a hundred thousand that is still in the general fund. And we want to take fifty thousand dollars of that in the in the next article to put it into a a land and building fund, and the other fifty thousand dollars is what again? We don't know yet. I don't know yet because I I don't have the results of the audit. Right, and this article is going to ask for yet another hundred thousand dollars of raised and appropriated um, through taxation yes. for 
Okay. But we're, but not, we're not getting the hundred. But we don't that know we, that what, we, We're not sure what we're doing with it, any of it. Well, we put two hundred so, in, and we're not getting anything back for it. Right. Well, we'll hope, hopefully, we'll end up be using that money to defer any bond costs or something like that. Um, but we, <coughs> all we could at, have a um, motion on district meeting floor to amend it in some form. But I, I, I couldn't say what those numbers could be without having the results of the audit. I, I don't know why. I'm going to take you out of the hot seat. Why did the commissioners approve this, recommend this? Which one, the Article 11? Article Both 11. Mm -hmm. We want our 200 grand back. I don't think we connected to, I mean, I don't think we connected the dots. Because it seems this. to me like we'd want to have a plan. And, and I'll, 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 be, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be straight up and, and honest with you. Um, I'm tired of putting money in these accounts so that we can have one committee go out and do due diligence and then have another committee because we form, we have a group of people that don't like what one committee does, so then they form another committee and they go off on a tangent with their own freaking ideas, and which it's really not, and, and from what I understand with the building committee right now, I can tell you, there's, there's nothing about what they've come up with that I'm even remotely, you know, in favor of. So, I mean, to, to cough up another, you know, to raise another $100,000 through taxation to fund yet another committee to screw around with design plans for something that's just not going to come to fruition. I'm just like, I, I can't get, that's my personal opinion, and I can't get wrapped around it, and it's a big no for me. And I've said my piece. So I'll, I'll, the discussion, for me. I this feel discussion exactly goes. I'll go. I'll, I'll I'll take it off slightly off topic, but in that vein, as the with the PD bill, we were talking in the hallway about the police building, how how many committees they've had for the Tilt Police Committee, and how many hundreds of thousands of dollars have been expended on committees and plans and engineering, and we don't we still have anything to show for it. it, it the number is approaching. I think it's like 400000 on that. It's north of that, you know. Somebody they said have a drawer full, they have a drawer full of plans. Yeah, we're worth we have, $300,000. Right, dollars. all these, yeah, we're, oh, it, it's a bigger number, and still won't have, you know, and that money was spent, not just appropriated. It, this was money out the door, right. and we don't have a building for, yeah, for a police department. And that's got so. nothing to do with you, Chief. I'm no, no, just, no. I'm bent because, committee, well, you know my take yeah, on it. Yeah. I mean, committees I, are expensive. You said, you said your piece, and that was going to be oh, I'm end. sorry. <laughs> I just want to make sure I know. I'm just saying, I'm letting him know that I'm not shooting at him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Can, but so anyway. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play stupid. Yeah. All right. It's very suiting. Play. Do your best. Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> All right. So we put 200 k in there last year. Yes. How much did we spend of that? Practically nothing. <laughs> I don't know the exact amount, but well, okay. it'll probably be here. Yeah, it was here. Uh, 11092 yeah, 11, So we spent $11,000. Uh, so we have $189,000 sitting in this fund. Yeah. No, it's now sitting in the general fund. It's, it's going to lapse. It's, it's lapsed. lapsed. Okay. It's already yeah. lapsed. So, it's yeah. in the general fund now. It's, it's in the general lapsed. fund now. So this is a non-lapsing. That's what the language is. Yes. Right. The difference is, is the one we did last year was lapsing. You had one year to spend the money. This one, if you don't spend the money, it will continue. That right. fund will still be there with for X the number of dollars. For the purpose of that. Okay. So what? So the two hundred grand is coming back to us, uh, one eighty nine, right? It's 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 in the un. Designated on reserve fund balance. That's where it will be after we have our account and go through all that. Okay. That's where it is now. And, the, and that money will be returned to the taxpayers. That money will be used for funding the budget this year or next year or, the, or it just sits in that unassigned fund balance. It's, and it's sitting there right. now, but the intent is to take that money out and put it towards the land and building fund because we couldn't spend it. You raised and, an appropriated for the building. Yeah. And we made, didn't we couldn't spend it on the intended purposes. That money's been raised and appropriated. And then the other put world, it towards you, the building though. And in the other world Please. you just lower your tax rate. Yeah. So that money's gonna stay in that fund and who's gonna determine how that money gets spent? The district. So that has to be spent through 
the budgetary process or a warrant article. Well, we do have so a warrant article where some of it's going on 12. Right? I, 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 don't, I don't want to talk about 12. I want to talk about where's the 200K? It's, where, it's how is the un it, how undesignated fund balance right now. Okay, so the only way that it can be used is through a warrant article. Um, yes. It has to be through a warrant article, yes. And whether it is one that's already written or you amend one so enough that in a manner that DRA will accept an amendment because sometimes if you try to amend an article too much, they'll say that's not the intent of the article. It doesn't meet the intent of the article. And they say, never happened. Okay. So It's happened so to us once. So the 200 grand is was intended for what? Design purposes? Design and engineering on a new or new fire stations. Okay, so that is when, when a townsperson votes yes for that, that's the intent where they want that money to be used. Mm -hmm. Not to go in a building fund for future use for the structure, right? Design and engineering fees. So now that it's in the general fund, now through warrant article, you can take that money and say, we want to use it for the building. You could, or you could amend it, to, I suppose. Here's my concern. That money was raised for a particular purpose. It wasn't used for that purpose. Now we're going to repurpose it. You can and only repurpose it with the vote of right. the, the body. I can't repurpose it, I, and I the commissioners can't repurpose it. I understand it. that, but it's going to be repurposed for something other than what it was originally designed to pay for. Will that, that this unassigned fund balance, will it be broken down and say, look, $189,000 was intended for this, we want to use it for this. X number was intended for this, we want to use it for this. Or is it just going to be... We've got $189,000 in the unassigned fund balance. We want to use it on a building. So my intent would be to break it down to say, this is, this is what's in the unassigned fund balance. This is where the money came from. This is what the articles say that what the commissioners have agreed that this is how we want to use what's in the unassigned fund balance. If the, the district approves of that, and that's how it will go. If they disapprove it, or they have a better idea, they want to amend it, they can certainly do that as well. Why don't we have a warrant article here that, that tells us, that gives the, ta the taxpayer a purpose for that money. You, you spent $11,200 out of it. You know what the balance is. Why isn't there a warrant article saying, we want the $189,000 to be transferred to a different fund? Back into other where it was two hundred, and now it's a dollar. Well, because those are the lines we just funded for a dollar. Fees. I, I guess there could be an article. Uh, uh, you could still do a petition for an article. But, but uh, just looking at this from the face, wouldn't that be beneficial for the? For, because somebody's going to stand up and they're going to say, "Hey, we just gave you two hundred grand last year. You didn't spend it. Now you want a hundred grand more. Where did my two hundred grand go?" And if you can tell them, well, look. There's a warrant article here saying we're going to transfer that into a building fund. That's where your money went. Mm -hmm. Or you can say we're going to use a hundred of it because we anticipate design and engineering fees here, and the balance will go into a, a fund for the building. What I see here is a hundred grand added on to the two hundred grand. Mm -hmm. Now it's three hundred. Now you got three hundred grand for yeah. design and engineering. Because this, the hundreds are coming from the unassigned fund balance. It's raise and appropriate. Right. Right. And exactly what you said last year. It's a double dip. So exactly. I, 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 I see what you're saying. This is a non lapse Exactly. Thing. Right. Which, if last year, that's probably what it should have been. Right. Yeah, without question. Right. Yeah. But it was all done on town meeting, on district, keep saying town meeting, district meeting floor. Yeah, on the fly. On the without fly. Good, yeah. Without good foresight or counsel or, yeah. Right. Which is always difficult. It usually never works out to the best. Right. In my right. Well, what could happen is based on what Paul has said. Let's just say the unassigned fund balance is shown at five hundred thousand dollars, but we know that one hundred eighty-nine thousand of that is really was really raised earmarked for earmarked this. for that, yeah. and so something has to be done on on the floor 
where that hundred, where you know, if someone says, "Oh, wait a minute, we're going to use that money to offset taxation now. We're going to pay for this, 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 and this." Now that money was raised with the building. Now it's going to be spent on something else, and it ha that has to be stopped somehow. Now I I get you can loop it back in a land building fund because you're going to have pre-engineering and post-engineering yeah. and construction engineering, and there's you're going to be right. But that's what we raised. That's what we raised it for. When someone just sees five hundred thousand, they're going to just end up. Right. If you end up putting it just in oh, the land and building fund, you pay that. And bond the that. bond will be less yeah. in the end. Right, and that's that's kind of the direction I'm going in. Well, is if we're now. if that's the intention District. is to put that into a land and building fund, let's do it right now because this this money was appropriated last year. We didn't spend it. I don't want it sitting around with no use and with the intention of using it somewhere else. I think we should have a warrant article specifying what we just dis discussed. So this, the commission has changed both these numbers that I had when I originally drafted them because they thought it would be more palatable to the electorate. Do you know what? It actually is, and I want to see no, more no, than 189. I, don't, I, don't, you know? I, would, I would be okay with a bigger say, number because I already freaking would, paid for it. I would say no on, on both of these just because <laughs> it's, it's, like it's like you took out a tip. Yeah. It didn't give me all my money back. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I know we're throwing a curveball at you because the commissioners have already discussed this and voted on this, but I personally, I don't see myself. Supporting either one of these until I know that that 189 is going to be used for what it was designated for. No, I agree. So you could, you could change the funding source of 11 from raise through taxation to withdraw from the undesignated fund balance to fund that article, and that would make okay. sense. And I understand. I like that. I do too. That's I like that. The direction I think we should go. Better off dead. But we have to go uh, from the whole. That's what I was yeah. trying to say, that's but I, maybe yeah. I didn't say okay. that. But so, you guys were kind of chattering. The chief has a very, I think, a, a wise. Uh, Instead of raising the hundred thousand through taxation, you can raise that money through a, uh, an amendment from the undesignated fund balance. Exactly. To for the purpose, and then it's. Uh, can we amend these? Or these have to go to DRA and back. Can no, we? once this, they're done. Once we have do to do it, it on the floor. We have yeah. we'd have to do it on the floor. Okay, so, so, we can okay. Just, so I misunderstood you. Yeah. I believe now there's a the hearing. I think once it reaches the hearing, I think they they still might be able to be finagled. I'm not 100 percent. Oh, you can can, can we return this to the commissioners and say fix it? We don't agree with this warrant article. We can just not Change recommend it. it. But but that I know that doesn't, that doesn't fix the it problem. doesn't say the why yeah. it doesn't yeah. give you the but the backstory. Is, do we can have we, time to have these modified and get them through DRA and back to us? I can. I can. Phone call. Uh, I'll say where I can call Captain. Well, frankly, I'm still against it because I believe that we should. Uh, you know what? We've got so many studies out there. I mean, at this point, hiring people to design crap is. It's exactly so, that. It's so, crap. so it's I, a double-edged sword, Dennis. No, but because I if you come to the table and say, "I want five million dollars for a fire station," but I have no idea what it's going to look like, but that that's, ain't happen. that's not even the point that we argue all the time, though. Because we can sit here. My experience thus far has been, you've got you've got those that are oppositional to anything that the fire department needs. Um, from from what I understand, this committee right now is basically they're they're building an, they're designing another modified garage. To the dollar, they've got a number. They've got a magic number. Who is? This, 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 the, the committee. committee. So you have a committee. Now wait a second. Let me let me clue you in on something. I'm in on that. I'm a member of that committee, and we've never had a discussion of that, except for maybe the last meeting, which I which was Tuesday. I did not attend. There Unless no this number, just, no number mentioned. I'm sorry, Dennis, but that's well, that's never been discussed as far as I know. Well, that was, and been that was and I meeting. haven't been to him, so but that's been my understanding. That's uh, not, people I, people I can, need to get together. And I can categorically all these tell you together. that that's not true, and I'll tell you that it's the it's the what what the what the facilities committee is going by are the rec, the tenants that the commissioners gave us, which is four ways to resolve this problem. What are the benefits of this one? What are the benefits in right? So the, the committee is not looking to, to uh, build in Northfield? 
on the that's one company. of the four tenets that we're we're supposed to resolve. One one station in Tilton, one station or one station, a station and a substation, a substation and an or a station in an administrative area. That's the, those are in, nothing is said. The, the, <coughs> none of those tenets that were given to us by the commissioner said specifically look at a, a building in Northfield only or in Tilton only. It's been one building. Well, that may not be the tenants, but I mean, what's that's what we're that's what you that this scenarios you have to yes explore. Explore. We're not looking at anything else. We're looking at those four requirements that the that the commissioners gave us. I'm sorry, it's been modified to five. Yeah, but, but then the, 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 the one kind of one out is too. different. Right, it's really related to personnel. And, and how come so, the, how come Northfield didn't get thrown out right? In the, because there is no Northfield. There is no Northfield proposal. It's what, how can a single station within the district meet our needs? Right. But building, so it's in, it's in consideration to build a single station down on Park Street. Is that, that a fact? That would be one of the considerations. Okay. And I, I'm just curious why that is even a consideration. Based upon a lot of other studies that we've spent a ton of money on, Okay, and we know we know that there, that there's, is there's that consideration is. also given to building one in Tilton. That's not that's not a decision right. that this. But committee my point is, is we uh, one of the huge things is it not call data? Any anything with a single station at Park Street, Park Street alone, you, you just throw and call it, and that's my point. And I don't want to get into a big discussion with that, but I mean, if that's what they're looking at, I'm just like they're not considering vital data that has to go. And my point is, I don't want to fund anything else beyond, every, you know what, get the get people from the towns together and look at all the studies that they have right now. It doesn't need all these designs. We can't even agree on what the fire station needs. And we're just dumping money into these silly designs. And well, everybody's like, oh, that's just too big. I think we didn't spend the two hours. Well, we yeah, spent four. Well, yeah, yeah. That's my point. I mean, it's just throwing money away. People can't agree. People cannot agree. On what the fire department needs, <laughs> and I, you know, I, you're on it. That's great, but I just can't. I can't even imagine. Maybe, that maybe the if needs. you would, maybe if you attended a meeting and and, and listen. Yeah, and you know what, and, and 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 I say that to everybody else when you know I attended a lot of meetings on it, and my experience with the district is nobody really wants to hear it unless it's the right amount. I mean, and you guys, you know what, I don't, want, I don't mean to be a naysayer, but you know what, you'll probably find at the district meeting or whenever you have a building committee meeting that you've wasted your time as well. Well, I, I'm prepared for that, but I hope that's not the case. I would hope not too, but it's just I don't have the confidence in the district to, that's where we always end up. But anyway, we get this article to <laughs> recommend. So, recommend. Then, so did you call Kathy? I did not because I didn't want to yeah. have the argument. So what, what the, the chief was going to ask Kathy is if we can, if we have time to to revise to revise yeah. eleven and, and possibly well. twelve. Oh, right. I think they're interconnected. So. Yeah. 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 yeah, sort of. See if she answers. Her ears are probably. I was going. I feel like no, I'm not going to call. Hi, Kathy. It's the chief. So I'm sitting at the uh, budget meeting, and they're asking the question, Everybody's is there time saying, to yeah. rewrite Hi, article Hi, 11 and 12, oh, which is the 100,000 and the 50,000, um, before it goes to the hearing? But does it have to go before the uh, commissioners to change it, and then they have to have well, another meeting to approve or disapprove? Well, this yeah. doesn't affect the tax rate at all. So the commissioners can change it before well, then. It does if they don't yeah. use that money to lower the tax I guess rate. The, right. I think that's the answer that they're looking for. Okay. Sorry to bother you at home. Hi, Kathy. Everybody says hi. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> it's gonna make it into the minutes. <laughs> Sorry to bug you at home. Like? All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. I'll send you a box of chocolates <laughs> and a flower. So, so yeah, these these weren't articles. <laughs> No, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> These warrant articles are the commissioner's warrant articles, and they can change them before the public hearing. So okay. at the next meeting, which is on the February 4th or something like that? Yep, February 4th. They can, 
if they so choose, they can change these articles to and something that so and they, you to what you could recommend to you could recommend them that they change the articles and they have time to change them before the public hearing. That's which possible. public hearing then is the articles, the warrant articles being read on the, February tenth. The tenth. Okay, so we're I mean we're not gonna meet between the fourth and the tenth. You could have a meeting before the meeting and either recommend or not recommend. Recommend or not recommend. If if you're not for instance I'm going to be traveling. I don't know if I'm going to be here. Can I vote by email? If no, I don't think email will do it. I think well, you, we can, have, you could do a phone conversation, and if we have like a speaker yeah, phone, email on when, when you have the meeting, you can do it. You can vote by District phone. Point. If we take yeah. one of these phones and call you and put it on speaker phone, leave it in the middle of the table. That's possible. So maybe three in the morning wherever you are, but we'll still so, tell you. And so does do you have a firm grip of what what we would be amenable to? It's, it's to me. I, I wrote down that we want to change this to the un, we want to pull these funds out of the undesignated fund balance on Article Eleven. And you want to change the amount to like one eighty nine because that's what we that's the exact number. 188. 188 or whatever. Right. Yeah. Right. Find out the exact number. Well it's it's right here. I'll tell you what it is. It's uh I think on page twelve. Oh. It's nine. Is this two hundred thousand and one dollar minus eleven thousand ninety two dollars. This is my calculator for that. I'm not this much. What's the number? One eighty-eight nine oh nine. So we're looking to transfer that to Are we looking to transfer that to the Land and Building Capital Reserve Fund, or are we looking to yeah. keep that for... Or to restore that other engineering line. Um, uh, that's a good question. I need, I need that. For design, for the, the, the last, the 200000 was for design and engineering and architectural fees. 4909 other, right? That previously had 200000 right. in it. Right, right. So we so restore it to that You want to restore line. it to, for that purpose, and withdraw it from the undesignated fund balance rather okay. than raise and, and it. So and put it in where so put it? I'm saying 4909 because that's where it lapsed from. Other improvements. Basically, we're putting it back. Yeah. Yeah, it, was, that, it would take the money that we didn't spend and it, it, it would have to put go it back, back towards the purpose. Yeah. Does that make sense to go to 4909 where it, where it died? Yes. Are we, that's are, the line. That's where we end up. I guess yeah. the question is, are we circumventing encumbering funds by doing that versus putting it in the land and building fund or whatever? If we encumbered the funds, we would have had to spend them by the end of this. Right. But are we circumventing? This current year. No. This is, okay. the, this is the will of the, the yeah. voters. It's yeah. not, in, it's not uh, going around encumbering funds. Okay. So, so, that's, so we're putting it back where it came from. And making it a non lapse. Like non lapse. And non lapse. Non -lapse. So that's what's important. And it's going to stay in other. Yes, it will stay where it came. Where it came from is where it will go back. Okay. So then, so then the next article becomes valid, because then we're asking to transfer some amount out of that undesignated fund balance. Other fund. No. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Unassigned fund balance. From the unassigned fund balance. Another, a new Another, 50. A, new, a, a different 50. A different 50. Okay, so, so here's, here's my question. Now we're going to have 188,909 in this other fund. Do we at this point also want to transfer that into a land and building fund or keep it strictly for the design fees? I, I feel safe in keeping it in design fees. I, 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 think, I think that's the no intent. I think, yeah. it's, I think it's better. I think you'll spend every bit of it. And if we have 
additional funding in the undesignated fund balance, and I'll know better after we have the audit. That 50000 might be more, it might be less. And that's something that would probably... Well, you, yeah, because you don't know where, I don't what's know left. Where, I don't know what's left in the undesignated fund balance. It's been rated the last three or four years. Well, we're just, we just rated the undesignated fund balance for 188000 We still so don't that, know what So now, where's that 50000 coming from? Is that going to really hurt that? Rated it. it was money that shouldn't have been in the first place. Well, no, but this is this is this fifty thousand dollars is yeah. well, yeah. We just took one hundred eighty-eight thousand out of the the undesignated fund balance. Mm -hmm. and now we're going to take fifty thousand on Article Twelve. We're going to take fifty thousand dollars out of there. Is that going to kill that fund too much? It might. It may well, that, that. That's that's why. Yeah, I, you don't I know if you know until that. after. We have our audit. I'll have a firm grasp on what's left in the undesignated fund balance, and whether these, um, whether Article Twelve is viable or not. It may be. It may not be. It may be better. It may be worse. I don't know yet. I have to find out what that number is. So and I and I, I really can't guess at it right now because we still we're still getting our books aren't even closed from last year yet because we, we just got another bill today, so. So on, on Article 11, we're, we're, we're actually not raising and appropriating, we're transferring. Right. Exactly. We have to rewrite the, rewrite the language to that article. Yeah. Yes. So we can't vote on that tonight. No. Right. Other than the, what but, we've amended it to be. But you understand our intent. I do. Right. I've, okay. I've got to, basically, we want to take that, make that $188,909 transfer it to basically account 4909, I don't know if they can say the exact count, but, and put it into the, um, And we might non-lapsing this time. That wording's in there, so. It's in there, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I, I know what the intent is, and, uh, between myself and Kathy, we'll recraft this and we'll send it off to DRA, and, uh, for their review, but the commissioners are going to have to vote on um, either changing it from what it is, or the recrafted w that we'll send the DRA probably on Monday, because uh, we'll spend tomorrow. Or maybe maybe we'll get it off to DRA tomorrow, but we won't get an answer right away. Okay. Now I but that way we'll have an option: either leave it as it is, or the commissioners the commissioners can either vote to leave it as it is, or they can vote to change it to what uh, the discussion was tonight here. Yeah. So, am I reading that in 2019 we appropriated two million four hundred seventy thousand and only spent two million one ninety two? Did we underspend? Yes, that is that. So this fifty thousand dollars that okay. should be comfortably if you. Got well, six. he just said they got another bill, so I mean. Yeah, you know, well, but I mean, yeah. At, at this stage of the game, I, it well, would seem. But, keep, it, but so keep in mind that a big chunk of that was the two hundred thousand. Yeah. So, and the other thing is that the, the still fund, another six figures there, and there's still that everything. fund has been rated to a point uh, that is less than what the uh, policy yeah. of the commissioners are to keep at in that fund yeah. at the beginning of the year. Uh, so, with that being said, if 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 you end up with less than a 16.67 percent. Or is then the intention to scrap Article 12? That would be my recommendation. It's up to, com to the commissioners of what they would, yeah. what they go with. I would see. I, I stick by what the, our policies are. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't deviate from, deviate from the policies. Right. Our policy is that we should have 16.67 percent in our undesignated fund balance. So with that, yeah, I feel that way too. How do the rest of you feel about that? Well, scrapping <coughs> Article 12. Scrapping Article 12? Mm -hmm. I think well, we for should leave it alone right now. Yes. Yeah. But, I mean, if the extra money was to go on, I mean, I'm, I'm not against putting money into a landed building fund. <coughs> I mean, if, it, if it's money, like, like the balance of that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care if the whole, whatever you didn't spend out of the 200 grand went in that. Right, because but what we're talking about is what if this brings us below that threshold of 16.67%. It's well, no, well, right, but so, so in that sense, no. Because that could happen because at the town meeting where, before we get to these warrant articles, 
it gets tapped into. Yes, yeah. yeah. there could be some other things right. that happen as, yeah. as have been. No, I agree with the yeah. chief. I mean, you, you know what? I mean, they, they make those recommendations. I mean, we, we are subject, even though we are our own entity and the, just the will of the voters, stuff, we still fall under state guidance. Of course, So, I mean, you know, it's just a matter of explaining. It's like, look, there, there are guidelines we have to follow. So, did you, make, so did you make the motion on Article 11? I did make a motion. Want to withdraw it? No, I, I made the motion on there. To recommend it? To recommend it. Well, we're, we're going to kind of park this until. Well, let's vote not to recommend it. Okay. No, this is going on. Yeah, because we're not recommending, we we're not recommending it? this article. Because, well, well what the chief said was the commissioners may come back and say, we want to keep this one, and we want to have a different one. But, so I think we can follow through and say we don't recommend it. I think, you, I think you should have, like, a 10-minute meeting before the yeah. um, um, public hearing so you can finalize well, these things. We can always recommend anything if they go but and rewrite it. But here, here's the bottom line: we are not recommending this no, one right here. Absolutely not. not. So, I, right, so I, I, mean, I, I just assume. I mean, okay. I, I just yeah. vote to follow, follow through on it. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, I recommended it to for, um, to for discussion. discussion. Yeah. To yeah. discussion. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Can we call the question? Yeah. All right. All those in favor of recommending Article 11, please say no. Any Any opposed? No. Nay. 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 Done. <laughs> not recommended. Do we want to even get into 12 or no? Because I don't. Or I just have a quick not recommend. Well, they're looking. So we don't know the number. We're, we're looking, like, right. They're looking to amend it. They're looking to. I'll make a motion. Go ahead. No, no. I was just asking if they were looking to amend it. Table it until the yeah. next meeting. Can we find out what the commissioners do with it? Yeah, you'll know what the this commission is. Well, that's my point. We're going to have a meeting before. This is what the commission has gave us. Right. right. If they gave us garbage in, garbage out, we need to act, sure work in real time. <laughs> I think the commissioners need to know that it was rejected. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's. I think that we're we're going going I make a motion that we discuss Article 12, adding to the land and building fund. I make a motion we recommend it. I'll second, second that. All right. okay. Discussion. All those in favor? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think we discussed it, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, I think we discussed it. All right. Any further discussion? <laughs> I call the question. All right. Call. Done. All right. All those in favor of recommending, please signify by saying aye. All those opposed? Nay. Nay. Failed. Nay. Okay. So, Done. So, so my point on 12 is that if anybody's going to raid this thing for anything, it should be just to add to the land and building fund to so that when we do get to a point where we're going to have to borrow, that we're not borrowing as much, right. rather than rating it to um, buy you know, a CBAs or buy yeah, part of a truck or right? part of a, you know things that right. yeah. But just to be on the record, I am not against a fire station. No. I am not against a landing and building fund. I'm against these two board articles. Me too. <laughs> Which two? 11, 11 and 12? 12. Yeah, yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, yeah. To spend more money to spin wheels and so. Anyway. Yeah. Well, um, keep things going. I recommend that we approve, or that we recommend Article 13 for the Communications Tower um, Fund. Put for $1 in it. All right. A second. second there. Perfect. Discussion. Discussion. I think it's a damn good idea. Yeah. So the revenue from the tower lease that we have on Park Street will go towards the land and building fund. Uh, well, you know, whatever the article says. So it says for the tower income, but what does that mean? What does tower income mean? Does that mean? We're collecting rent. No, I understand that, but is this income after expenses, or is this the rent that's collected and our expenses are deducted somewhere else? Or? We don't have any expenses. That is... For the tower, we don't have any expenses. Okay, so it, all right, so it's specifically lease payments for the we tower. We will have an electric bill there. So once we put radio equipment in there, we'll be having an electric bill there that will probably be $20 a month or something like that. The fees are more than 20 bucks a month. The fees are 60 bucks a month. Your yeah. electricity bill starts after that. Yeah. But so what my point is, is this income or is this? Profit. Is this gross or net? It's gross. Okay, so so the electric bill will come from 
taxation. Okay. And your only anticipated expense is electricity? That's correct. Okay. Now, if we vote to put new equipment in there for whatever reason, that, that equipment cost will be probably from the apparatus equipment fund, but I'm not anticipating anything right now. Well, we do need a microwave link in, in the near future, but not right now. I think that's a good trade. If we, if, if, we, if we raise funds for an electric bill through taxation, but yet we're using this to offset costs and repairs, I mean, we're going to see these line numbers. I mean, these are the line numbers you're talking about, like for Park Street, and all those, yeah. I mean, those could, those could go down considerably, pro probably way more than what an electric bill is going to cost us. Well, so we have a, if we have a mechanism for income, it's better to right. go into a fund rather than into the general fund and right. you know, just absolutely because we've we've seen where one hundred eighty nine thousand can do for us. Uh -huh. All the way. So Tilton get. Land until it's too, too rich for your blood now? No, I had a purchase and sales on Crossmill Road, and then the guy that was supposed to buy my house got fired nine days before closing. Ugh. Oh, no. Well, that sucks. Yeah. I just didn't know if all your new assessments scared you. <laughs> oh, no, my assessment in Samberton last year went up. Uh, oh, you're Samberton, that's right, yes. Yeah. Uh, and it went from 163, 168 to 215. In one assessment, and I'm okay with that. But pull my rate down, you know. Don't suck yeah. my, you know. Don't kill Our, my. My bill. rate did come down. Yeah. Yeah. My, my tax is still one. come down a buck fifty. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going up two grand. Anyway. Oh, well, I know. Yeah. Fuzzy math. But anyway, you good, Paul? Okay. Uh, any further discussion on thirteen? <clears throat> All right. All's in favor of recommending our thirteen, the amount of dollars establish the fund. Please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? There being none. Thirteen is recommended. Oh, another page. Just one more. I move that the uh, budget committee recommend Article 14 establish a contingency fund in the amount of twenty-four thousand seven hundred ten dollars. Will that change actually with the? No, because it's on your previous year. It's on, it's on previous, previous year. That's right. Okay. I'll second that. Any discussion on fourteen? Pretty cut and dry. All those in favor of recommending Article 14, the amount of 24710 please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? There being none, 14 is recommended. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Is that it? That's it. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Seconded? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Vote with your feet. So this uh, February 10th is the commission thing. That's my page 14. That's a public hearing on the warrants and budget. Oh. The meeting might need to show up 10 minutes early. Yes. What time is that meeting at? 5.30. Ooh, 5.30. Ooh, 5.30. Yeah. Eric, can you make it? That's what I was looking at. Yeah, 5.30. <laughs> I mean, you sick that day. Yeah. Let's just hope I-93 ran out of tape. Not snow. <laughs> 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 What's that?